Hey guys, what's up? So a couple of things that I ordered from Hot Topic finally arrived at the store. So I wanna invite you to get ready with me, come on this errand and maybe even grab some lunch with me. Yeah, just kind of like a casual vlog hang. So let's get ready. So one of the things that I ordered was a ghost eyeshadow palette, which is really exciting because I feel like the fandom has theorized or came up with their own mock-ups of ghost makeup, and it just has never happened. I don't know the brand of this product. All I know is that it's a Papa 2 face palette that's got some colors in it and some highlighter shades which I wanna do a separate video about it, but I'm really excited to see this thing up close and personal. I even think it goes in the dark. And I also got a shirt that was part of their um, semi-annual clearance sale. Couldn't pass up a deal. Plus I had like my $5 rewards. So I think the, the shirt only came out to like a dollar, which is pretty nice. So we are here at the mall, but before I go in, I'm going to place my order for lunch. I've been kind of really craving some crispy fried chicken, like a chicken sandwich. And since we don't have the cook shack anymore down here, um, I think I'm going to go with right now. What I think is the next best thing is going to be um, wings and rings. They had a really awesome sandwich that I had recently and I want to try, I think it's their Korean style chicken sandwich. So I'm going to place the order and then we're going to go inside and get the stuff from Hot Topic. have secured the bag. I'm so excited to show you guys and then get some grub because I am starving. So while we're waiting for the order, let's take a peek. So the shirt I got, it's an extra small because um, it said boyfriend fit and normally boyfriend fit things are a little bit baggy. Uh, so I wasn't really in the mood for that. And it is the moon tarot card, the moth. Oh. It kind of, it does feel a little bit narrow, which is great, but it does look a little small, almost like a kid's like XL maybe. I think that's cool. That's awesome. Drum roll please for this next one. It looks so good, you guys. Look at, look at Papa. So this, stands out like it's popped out and I'm not going to open it completely yet because I want to do a separate video for the palette but here it is in all its glory the first ever of its kind. We're back and now it's time to eat. I'm so excited to try this Korean style chicken sandwich from Wings and Rings so let's get into it. Okay. Woo! This is some nice potato wedges in here guys. And they look crispy too, I'm excited. 
dun, dun. Now, the Korean style sandwich, I think, is has some kind of slaw with maybe like a teriyaki sauce or some kind of soy sauce. It's wrapped pretty well. Ooh, I think something flipped. Uh-oh. Okay. It's very um flat. <laughs> We're gonna put this on a regular plate just to see, you know, how it looks aside with all this packaging. So I believe last time when I got their newest sandwich, I don't think the filet was as squished. It was all, you know, puffed up and it looked pretty. But I don't know, we'll, we'll see right now what this whole thing is about. Alrighty, let's open this puppy up. <gasps> There's jalapenos in here. I am not a fan. I didn't know there was jalapenos. I thought it was more like coleslaw. So what I will do for y'all, since it is part of the sandwich, I will only try it with the first bite, but I don't, I don't think I'm gonna care for this too much at all. Oh man. I don't think this was correct. Too many jalapenos. Yes, before that we should do it some kind of a thumbnail. Okay, we are gonna go into this first by put this jalapeno right here because like I said, normally I do not eat jalapenos. Alrighty, here we go. First bite of the Korean chicken sandwich from Wings and Rings. I don't really taste it. Oh wait, it's kicking in a little bit. Let's see. It tastes like um, like something you would get at Panda Express. You know that Asian seasoning or um, like the sweet and sour sauce. I don't know if these were just supposed to. Add to the spiciness, but right now it's not that bad. So maybe I'll put the rest of these back. Um, there's very little slaw. I don't know if you can see that. Just not very much at all. It's kind of disappointing because the pictures look really different online. But surprisingly, the filet, no matter how flat it looks, it's pretty good. Get some ranch for these. So guys, how has your 2024 been treating you? I feel like I've been doing pretty good. I started some more routine-like things, um, habits, and I, I feel like I'm the type of person that I need to go all the way in like cold turkey or whatever you wanna call it, because if I try to gradually do something for myself, I just get disinterested and wean off, so. Pretty much Monday through Friday, I've been really dedicated about um, doing some kind of yoga and journaling every morning. It's relaxing, and this is the first time that I've kept a journal, like, pretty repetitively. Every now and again when, like, a full moon comes up or a new moon or something else, I write down my thoughts. But it's been a long time since I've kept, like, a diary of sorts where it's daily. I have to say, the sandwich is not impressive, but so far it tastes pretty good. I can't even really taste the jalapeno. Mm. It's pretty good. So lately guys, whenever I do my videos, I usually put like some kind of like foundation or cover up, but I've been afraid to lately because around the holidays, I started having like this skin reaction on my face. I don't know what triggered it, but I have a high suspicion, maybe it might be something to do with pork because 
the big breakout happened when I ate like some old, like, well not old, it was leftover Christmas ham or New Year's ham. And I just had these like splotches come out on my face. I got medicated wash and medicine. And then they kind of went away. And then I had some like frozen pizza and I don't know if it's related, but then they started appearing again. So I don't know, I've just been kind of nervous to start or continue having pork in my diet. So I don't know if I'm allergic to pork specifically or there's something in it that is triggering me a reaction. But it's not been fun. I've been paranoid about putting anything on my face. I don't know, I'm just gonna wait it out, I guess. It hasn't affected my um, application, like on my eyeshadows, thank God. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll continue with that. But as far as like foundation and things, I'm just, I'm not really keen on doing that right now. There's a specific Chinese dish that tastes exactly like this. I just can't put my finger on it. Like, I don't remember the name. I'm really excited to try out the ghost palette. Um, it's not often do I, that I do a lot of shopping on Hot Topic, but when I get a gift card or like I get some deals and rewards points, I always try to find like Oh, that thing really brightened up. <laughs> I always try to like find like really good deals or things that, um, you know, I'd end up using. I don't know how much use that I want to put out of that palette yet. Because it's kind of like a collectible. Like I said, it's like the first time that Ghost has released something makeup related. And these are a little bit more spicy. I'm not really feeling them that much anymore. <sighs> and the mall wasn't too bad. I mean, there was some like people in and out. The Hot Topic wasn't like overly packed. And the employees are always so nice when I go in. Very friendly and very helpful. I know there was a time like a long time ago, like people were not as approachable, but I've noticed within the past few years that the team has really like been consistent with, you know, being helpful and friendly and, you know, welcoming. So I appreciate that. So we have to think about this sandwich as far as the rating goes because presentation was just a big flop. Flat, missing coleslaw, and I'm not even sure jalapenos were supposed to be in the sandwich. So it's like, ugh. But the chicken is well cooked and it tastes really good. So <laughs> you kind of have to think about that too. I mean, granted, it's no cook shack, not by any means. But it gets the job done. I just wish it looked a little bit better, had more filling. These are pretty good. They've been consistent. I think they're not overly seasoned. Not overly greasy or too squishy. Mm. I think we're gonna do, give it like a, maybe like a six and a half. I mean, it's not amazing, like I said. Presentation was whack. Probably missing some stuff, but it was okay. I definitely recommend the other sandwich if it still looked as presentable as I remember it. That one was the Chipotle 
blueberry barbecue chicken sandwich. But you know what? I've had a string of me getting excited about a place or about a particular item and then it ends up like flopping really bad. Um, there was one where there was this local restaurant that everybody was raving about and I was like, oh my God, I had a chicken sandwich and it was absolutely disgusting. Not at all like what the reviews were saying. And I was super disappointed. And there was something else that I wanted like really, really badly. And it was just like, it was really bad. Well, I did go to this um, newish Korean hot pot with my friend and it was all hyped up and it looked really cool. And I was just, I was not having that either. It just, it was weird and it was kind of cold and ugh. I don't know, maybe it just wasn't my thing. And me that I, recently, I've been on a kick for a chicken sandwich and I got my chicken sandwich and I was like, you know what? Wings and Rings had this really awesome sandwich, but I already had it on the channel. Let me try another one. And it was just, it was okay. It was all right. So I guess I should be less excited or less wanting stuff so it could actually be good, or I don't know. So thank you guys for coming along on my get ready with me, hot topic run, lunch, <laughs> mukbang. Um, it was really fun and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you wanna see this more of this type of content and stay tuned because like I said, I am gonna be working on a video reviewing and displaying the Papa palette in full. But until then, I will see y'all next time.